you've ever played a MotoGP game, then you can definitely appreciate this track for what it is. This is Zaxenring. Riding any racecraft and you're on the edge of grip from one corner to the next, the tires are screaming to hold on. The first time I loaded up race room and saw Zaxxon Ring on the track list, I was pleasantly surprised. Actually, for the longest time I called this Sashen Ring until someone enlightened me that it was pronounced Zaxxon Ring. This was one of the first tracks I took for a spin in race room, along with the DTM, because why not? It's an amazing combo, right? two or four wheels, this track is special. The layout doesn't have one boring sector, from turns one through 13, or 14, depending on how you count it. Every corner is challenging, exciting, and a workout in concentration. It's one of those tracks that has a bit of something for everyone. If you like corners that flow, check. High speed sectors, check. If you want overtake opportunities, there are a few of those for sure. From 1927 to 1989, this track was eight and a half kilometers long. Oh, I would have loved to see that version, especially after reading up in the history that went along with it. But much like the Norschleife, the dangers would end up forcing it to close until 1996 when the 3.5 kilometer circuit was born. A few modifications here and there, a touch of the Tilki, love it or hate it, and the modern day circuit has now become the annual host of both MotoGP and the ADAC GT Master Series. Starting a lap of Zaxxon Ring, coming down the straight, you enter into what is the beginning of a sequence from turn one through seven that has this constant sweeping from right to left to right to left. Basically, it's setting you up for this long, never ending turn that just seems to get faster by the second and throw in a blind turn just before hitting one of my favorite parts of the circuit, the awesome downhill section of turn 12. Just take a DTM, try hitting the DRS right before the turn and tell me that's not a great but stressful feeling. And of course, working your way to my second favorite part of the circuit, the final turn, Saxon Curve. It's a blind hill that's so easy to spin out if you're overconfident, but it's always cool to watch those GP riders entering that turn wondering if they'll high side it. Up the hill, down the straight, and that's a lap of the Zaxxon Ring. I love taking so many different cars on this circuit. The Pro Cars, the DTMs, GT3s, the Formula Cars, Touring Cars, you name it. It just works, and it's awesome. But why this circuit is not in every sim, I can't explain it. It should be though. Imagine what this track would be like in ACC, dressed to the nines. But for now, I'm more than happy that Sector 3 chose to include this as part of their track list. So if you haven't tried this circuit, get out there and experience the coolness of the Zaxxon Ring. Until next time, take care.